1939 when it was finally consummated as the, a wish of the Methodist Church South before uniting with the Methodist Church North. And they had been divided ever since slavery uh, because of slavery. Then the South insisted that the Negroes we were then in the church be put into this separate jurisdiction geographically. It was like a map on the map. I remember when my one of my older brothers, Rossman Turple, came home as a graduate of West Virginia State College. And he said, Papa, I've finished college now. I've got a scholarship to Howard Law School and a scholarship to Howard School of Religion. If you can justify to me why you stay in this church that doesn't want you, then I'll go to seminary. If not, I'm going to law school. And my father's words were, you don't win a battle by leaving the battlefield. They said, if we ever get this church to live up to its own pronouncements, then we can get the church straight. And if we ever get the Methodist church straight, we will have the country straight. Because there are more representatives in Congress, there are more elected officials throughout the country who are Methodists. And he said to my brother, well, you do whatever you want to do. Because my brother said, but Papa, you can be Christian without being Methodist. You can be Methodist without being this Methodist. You got AME, CME, AME Zion. And Papa said, well, they left, but we're staying. And we're staying to try to get this church straight because they can't be the church of Jesus Christ without us.